Hey everybody, uh, one of my viewers wanted to know how my water tank system worked on my rig and I thought, you know, that's a good idea. I've never really showed, you know, the workings of that. So it all starts with hooking up to the faucet. This is a, a gator lock, uh, cam lock. I have it, my local store carries gator and um, banjo. Anyway, either one will work and it's a, it's a garden hose adapter. So garden hose is, is a different thread than a pipe thread. And so the reason I do this is because sometimes it's hard, like if this is off, sometimes it's hard to screw the hose like right here. <clears throat> and a lot of the hoses doesn't have a, a big nut to hold on to. And so some of the guys online was doing this and I thought that's stupid, but I thought, well, Heck, I'll give it a try, and man, I love it. So um, when you buy these, always buy two, because sometimes you lose this piece here, because I'll show you. Because if, when you get done, and you unhook it, and you put the adapter in here, and you start dragging this through the grass to get, you know, to, while you're reeling it up on your reel, these can catch, come unlocked, and then you lose this piece. So, <clears throat> Sometimes I just put that piece in my pocket. Other times I just, you know, am aware that to look for this whenever I uh, wind my hose up. But anyway, so let's just let's just do this. Hook that up here. Turn my water on. From here, it's going into my hose reel. You know, normally I pull off this way, but I'm filling my tank up because I had to drain it because it. The last couple of nights it was freezing so I kind of went did a uh, about an 80% winterization here and one of it one of my processes is draining that water tank so I'm filling the tank up I got two jobs today normally I pull the hose off this way I'm pulling it off this way <clears throat> water comes in comes through the the manifold goes into a banjo I believe that's a that's an 80 mesh banjo uh, strainer. I have a valve here. <clears throat> I also have a valve that's hooked to this port here in the banjo strainer. And what I did that for <clears throat> was this gives us water pressure while we're hooked to the house. So if I need, need any water pressure or <clears throat> clean water fast, I have that. The second reason I have it on there is because <clears throat> if I'm going to unhook at the house, I can turn this on a little bit like this, go over to the house, shut the valve off, and then that relieves the pressure. So when I pull that fitting off at the spigot, it doesn't blow a bunch of water on me. So the water comes in here, is filtered or screened same thing kind of uh, so it comes up here to a three-way banjo valve so I have it set up where when my levers this way it's filling the tank halfway with it up yeah, I'm, I'm getting a full tank and let me show you how that works okay so up here you can see I have a vent this is my return and I have a vent line right here but when my son is using the uh, pressure washer and I'm using the the diaphragm pump uh, sometimes we suck this tank in and so <clears throat> I put this extra venting right here so <laughs> kind of a I should you know I could have just upsized that but I was lazy so I just thought I'd drill some holes in my cap so when you look in here, you can see I've got it. I've got two Hudson fill valves, and I've got <clears throat> uh, two bulkheads here. So when my three-way valve is for calling for a full tank, it's shooting out of here. When I call for a half a tank, it comes out of there. I'm gonna switch my valve over. So I switch my valve over. So now it's coming out of the bottom. So that's how that works. <clears throat> anyway, 
pardon my wild hair, but I slept on my wet hair and it's all crazy. Who cares? Uh, anyway, so that's how that works. So if you have any questions, you know, leave them down below and, and um, I'll try to answer them. Like and subscribe, share my videos. See you on the next one. Bye.